uh, even though we were different ages, uh, like I was about 11, 12, and he was about 17, 18, it was the same period of time, more or less. Like, it was basically we both learned how to play in the early 80s. Like the music that was current in the early 80s, say from like 77, 76 onward, that shit all seemed new at that time. And so like, it, while we, especially me, I gradually got into older stuff. He already knew a lot of older stuff, but, but, but uh, it was a very exciting time to be into new music. To, you know, like I listened to the radio all the time before I had the money to buy many records. and. They played really good stuff on the radio for a while there in the late 70s and early 80s, at least on KROQ they did, because it was a local station at that time, and the DJs played what they wanted, and they played cool stuff from England that the rest of the country didn't know about, and cool stuff from L.A. that the rest of the country didn't know about, so... Yeah, we're both going to play stuff that we liked, that was cool, that we really liked in the, around that time period of early 80s, late 70s, I guess. Yeah, and, and also, just to add to that, like, it felt new at that time, and it felt... I don't know if it's just because we were younger, or even though we're like seven years apart, we do whatever, but it was, it felt so new. Like, I don't hear things now, very rarely do I hear something that seems so new. Like, I've never heard anything like this before. Right. And granted, it's because I hadn't heard as much. Yeah. But still, even in retrospect, looking back, it seemed like these punk records came out, these like different styles of, of music came out, and new ways of recording came out that like, People like the DIY things, like kids recording, some often didn't even know how to record, like making these real raw sounding records, as well as like, just sounded so different, like stylistically, aesthetically, every way. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it really, it, it, when you found out about